Yeah, my name's Isaac and I'm 19. Uh, I work as a self-employed singer and I sing all over um, in like bars and pubs and clubs and festivals and weddings and whatever. Um, and I'm studying to be a personal trainer. Well, my dad's a guitarist and a singer and when I was little I used to watch him play and so when I was really little I really wanted a guitar but I was too little so he got me a ukulele and um, so I started playing when I was tiny and then I kind of like went away from it because I was a kid um, but I've been properly playing for quite a few years and I've been doing it as a job for the past two years. From as little as I can remember I was I just knew that I wasn't right I knew that I wanted the same stuff as my brother and it wasn't like just being jealous for the sake of it it was that I felt wrong being called a girl and being called she and being put with the girls and silly stuff like wearing dresses and pink and all that I just felt so wrong uh, I wanted short hair I wanted to play the boys games I wanted to be just one of the boys um, and at primary school the same, I, I, I was so adamant about my hair, I was so adamant about my clothes. Uh, I remember feeling uncomfortable in the changing rooms when I was tiny. I remember feeling uncomfortable just being addressed as my birth name. Uh, the people around me were really supportive, so my my family, they weren't surprised because I'd shown it in my childhood. My friends weren't surprised because they knew me really well. Um, so the people around me, I was really lucky that they supported me um, and helped me cope with how I was feeling. Um, not everyone was supportive though. When other people had found out, I did get some negative um, opinions and reactions that obviously made things way more difficult because it's like the most difficult time of my life. And then to add on some random as opinions, you know, it's not good, but. I'm very lucky that my family and friends were really, really behind me. Um, I was at college at the time that I came out and one of my tutors, who I told privately, was really lovely. She was really understanding, supportive, really behind me. Um, she actually helped me change my name by deed poll. She was the person that gave the signature and stuff, so she was really helpful. Um, not all my tutors were that supportive, others made comments um, nothing direct but just comments that weren't needed to be made um, they weren't addressing me as male they weren't treating me as male um, and shortly after I left college uh, I'd like people to know that transgender people are just like anyone else I live my life like anyone else I'm not crazy, I'm not deluded, I'm not dressing up as someone else. This is who I am and it's who I've always been. Um, it's not a decision, it's not a conscious decision to say, it's not as simple as, oh, I don't want to be a girl, I want to be a boy. I don't want to be a boy, I want to be a girl. It's that you are, and I was a boy, and I am a boy, and I am a man. And I've had to go through so much to get what other people just are born with and for someone to say to me that it's a choice you know people make comments like oh I feel like a helicopter call me helicopter you know and they call you mentally ill they call you crazy uh, they refuse to call you he and him for people to do that it's just so it's so offensive because why would anybody ever choose to live a life where they face so much discrimination, where they have to have so many problems and complications. Why would anybody choose that if they didn't have to? And I've had to go through all that to be myself. Mm -hmm.